this was Greenbelt until 2019. For more than 30 years, Susan's Chilton's home looked out on the Greenbelt. But that protection has now been removed to allow development, and this view may soon be replaced by housing. They put an outline plan in now for 103 houses just in this space. How does that make you feel? Awful. I know people need housing. I'm not against development. What I'm against is where you join up villages, where you overcrowd, where there's no infrastructure. We don't have doctors. We don't have school places. We don't have roads. It takes you hours to go anywhere. How can they possibly put houses and then think about the infrastructure afterwards? We can't even get potholes mended. Concerns like these help trigger an unexpected political earthquake in the Chilterns this week. The Liberal Democrats winning a by-election in Chesham and Amersham, a previously rock-solid Conservative majority undermined by concern this area of outstanding natural beauty is under threat from developers. Our infrastructure cannot cope with large-scale development um, and um, people have moved to this area because green space is uh, open air um, and they don't want to see it just e e expanded into a, a further suburb of London. There were specific local issues here, but senior Conservatives are warning concerns over planning reform are a national problem. The concern in places like this and across the South East is government plans to automatically grant planning permission in certain areas of the country and to reduce residents' opportunities to object. The target is to build 300,000 new homes every year. Last year, they managed just 240,000. It's an issue in Winchester too, a Conservative-held Lib Dem target where this 77-home development has gone ahead despite objections, offering much-needed social housing. I think it's terrible. There's a lot of free space outside of Winchester and outside of a lot of the cities and towns where you could utilise that free space quite well. I mean, the towns have become quite saturated. The traffic's always so heavy and it's become quite overpopulated. But where there's so much space on the outskirts, it doesn't seem to make sense that you wouldn't build housing that was available to people on the outskirts. Britain's acute housing crisis will not be easily resolved, but bulldozing traditional Conservative support was not part of the plan. Paul Kelso, Sky News in Amersham.